Hello, my name is Sean, and I am this month's featured collector. Uh, a little bit about me, 42 years old, live in Arizona, originally from Texas, been to California, uh, jumped around a little bit. Um, what really got me into statue collecting was probably really a lot of the um, TV shows, cartoons of the 80s, Batman, the animated series, Spider-Man, Gargoyles, watching all those as a kid. Um, eventually, one of my first jobs was actually working at Toys R Us. So I was around toys all the time, and I had a large collection of different uh, different properties back then, McFarlane and that. Um, the biggest property that got me into collecting was definitely Batman. Um, like I said, I used to watch the Batman animated series, Batman Beyond, Batman Superman, all those ones back in the 80s were my favorite uh, Saturday morning cartoons. Favorite statue um, would probably be the Harley Quinn tweeter head, the one with the jetpack, just such a kind of different, unique statue. Although, you know, I've got to, there's so many to pick from, I'm not sure I could really ask me tomorrow, I might say a different one. Um, if I could have any statue, regardless of cost, probably be the Sideshow life-size Harley Quinn. Um, definitely out of my price range, but uh, it would be a fun one to own. And then any statue made um, would be cool to have just a Harleen Quinzel statue. They almost always focus on Harley, but I think it would just be kind of fun to have a statue of her before she became Harley. Um, that's really about it. So let's go ahead and I'll give you the tour. All right, well, we'll start the tour here. That's what the poster I got on the back of my door because I ran out of wall space. I did paint the Harley Quinn diamonds on the back of my door as well as painting the whole door black. Some random stuff I've got kind of shoved up in there in the corners. Just making use of every available space I have in this room. The masks from Harley Quinn Day. And then that one, I don't know if you can see it here, but signed by Amanda Connor, Jimmy Palmiotti, Chad Harden. And different art prints I've picked up. I don't have a lot of artwork just because I am limited on wall space. I've got some comics down on the floor I haven't even hung up yet. T-shirts. Sketches. I believe that one's by Jimmy Palmiotti. First appearance of Harley. Signed by Paul Dini and Bruce Timm. Sideshow pieces. Just random art that I've found. I'll pick up just about anything that's got Harley on it. Up top is going to be my Funkos. Oops, I need to get a little bit further back, get them all in. About the only one I'm really missing right now, I think, is the Hot Topic employee one that came out several years ago. I uh, got some more stuff kind of hidden up there in the darkness of what used to be the closet. Got the ice cream containers up there, all cleaned out. The popcorn bucket. A lot of drinking stuff action figures, uh, a lot of the boxes from the statues are kind of shoved back there. So 
some more artwork and a lot of the small little pieces I've picked up, Legos and whatnot. Pins, patches. Again, and then you can look back there, there's more small stuff kind of hidden behind the monitors. Desktop, all Harley. Mouse pads, Harley. Bag from Comic Con a few years ago. The Almost Got Him with the tape actually predates the Batman Adventures 12. Ice Cube Trays, Pez. And then we'll start getting into some of the statues, the smaller scale stuff. That yeah, goes all the way up to the ceiling. A lot of the Hot Wheels cars, as I've picked those up. Up top there, I got the statues along with the comic book covers. All the keychains. So I got some Joker stuff peppered in there as well. Trading cards, stamps. Shot glasses. Some more Joker stuff kind of peppered in there. Playing cards. And I got a phone case there. A few more Joker pieces kind of down here on the bottom. Here we got some of the plushies. I don't have a lot of the plush just because they take up a lot of room. Might be a little dark, but there's a few statues back there. The Cryptozoic Puddin' Pop. All three of those, the regular, the Hot Topic. And the exclusives. Yeah, the push pops. A couple more pieces hidden back there. Some of the pens from Birds of Prey. The Batman animated series 3D board game. Just because Harley is in there, I'd have it. Some comics. I'm gonna try not to hit the fan as I go by here. I have the comic for the Robin there on the end. I just have to pull it out and get it set up. Living Dead Dolls. Here's my six scale figures. I love any statue that's got Bud and Lou in it. Definitely not enough of those out there. I'm always searching for to find the one with the button loo in the sidecar. You see, I do have a few graded comics hidden here and there, but typically I like to read my, all my comics. Even the Batman Adventures 12 I have signed, I have actually read that. 
the pile of comics that need to be put away. A lot of the trades, uh, books, just about anything that Harley makes an appearance on. It's even the Overstreet Guide there. Harley's on the cover of that one. I just like the way that these two kind of go together. Harley bombshells. Still a few of these I'm missing up, so I'm always out looking for those. Some of the larger Funko pieces. Again, another Comic-Con exclusive. Go all the way up again. A lot of the Cryptozoic pieces. As of right now, I do have all of the larger ones. Even the employee appreciation ones that come out. I picked those up at Comic-Con every year I could. Just another random shelf, a lot of cryptozoic stuff. The promotional poster for the 25th anniversary of Harley. One of my favorite non-statue things, actual production drawing from Batman Superman Adventures. Signed by Arlene Sorkin, the voice of Harley, and Bruce Tim. My only open wall space right there. A couple art prints. Harley's Holiday, one of my favorites. Right, now on to some of the bigger stuff. I actually have the Harley shoes over here. Harley Jack in the box. Mondo. Half scale. The Sleepover Sirens. If I could, I would definitely collect more of the Gotham City Sirens. But sadly, I just don't have the room for it. About the only Birds of Prey piece I have right there. Definitely one of my favorite non-Jester costumes right there. I just think they did a great job. I'd love to see more statues with that. Based on the Alex Ross art. From the HBO show. And then come up here. Oh, take a step back. So there's the tweeter head. One I said was probably one of my favorites. I just love what they were able to do with the fire on the jetpack. And the sideshow. Another really fun piece. Let's see when I did first start painting the room. I painted a lot of the uh, ha-has and bats and stuff all over the wall. But they've slowly been covered up as I buy more stuff. One of the WB store plates. 
It's another piece. I don't remember which convention I picked that up at. But it's just a fun. And I picked up this art print just recently. Just because it was such a great piece with all the rogues. Joker and Harley featured in the front. If I take a step way back, it's from Spirit Halloween. I have the uh, Birds of Prey one as well from two years ago, but I just don't have the room to display them both in here, so it's currently out in the garage. The Prime one, my most recent piece. I had to custom build a base just so I could have somewhere to display it. Another great statue. Harley from the Samurai line. Have all the bonus heads because I'm constantly changing them out because I can't decide which one I like best. Kind of set this up as the uh, paired statues. Got Harley Ivy, Harley and Joker, Harley Batman, and the uh, Amakami. Some more down there. Kind of my random shelf. And then come down to the bottom. More of the animated series Harleys. The Funko Mask. And from there, it's going to be most of the action figures. It's right there. I think that's the smallest Harley figure I have. Again, I know there are a lot of action figure ones I'm missing, but always on the hunt. think that will conclude it. Hey, thanks for checking out my collection. Uh, I'd like to thank the Batman statue collector and remember he'll see you in the Batcave. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today and if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them and also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.